Clarifying the record on Biden. The deep state finally has a boss. Narrated by Skeptical Waves. Published Sunday, April 28, 2024 by Curtis Yarvin. X, in its sloppy yet energetic way, has corrected the Biden campaign for me. While this is not quite how I would put it, it seems like an odd confusion of my 2020 and 2024 endorsements, and I am a radical monarchist, the horseshoe's missing link, who only looks far right from the far left, I will take the W. But I have heard from many readers who have come away disturbed and or confused by my endorsement of Biden. To be clear, all I have is a good plan for Biden. I also have a good plan for Trump, or anyone else. It is the same plan and very simple. I do not think Biden or Trump or anyone else will use it, but they should. They should. What is to be done? After taking complete charge of the executive branch, I propose, Biden or Trump will appoint a national CEO with plenary power over the entire USG, federal, state, local and tribal. Plenary is just a fancy Latin word meaning full. While the president's legal authority is federal, the US is one country in reality. It does not need 50 motor vehicle departments. No one, looking at this country now, would invent federalism if it did not already exist. And during an emergency rebuild of the government, there is no need for any ridiculous, but unsafe, civil war farce. This CEO will serve for the next four years or until the president dismisses him. He will deliver quarterly reports to the president, who will otherwise do his photo ops. He should be a successful startup CEO who has built a large company from nothing. He should probably bring his whole top team. His mission is, to repair, defend and improve the assets of the United States, which are, its people and its land. The nation is a firm. He is its chief executive. The year is 2025. The deep state finally has a boss. It is plainly obvious to everyone that if the political situation of this new national CEO is as stated above, he has no reason to try to reform the existing executive branch, actually an administrative branch, managed by the legislative and judiciary branches. His mission is more likely to succeed if he replaces it with a new startup regime, using existing organizations only to make sure the transition is smooth. Even the problems the USG is solving seem best explained by historical factors. What is the purpose of US foreign policy? In the context of 20th century world history, what the State Department does today makes sense. How else could it be explained? If the deep state got a boss, the first thing that boss would do is fire the deep state. And hire a new deep state, whose first mission is to wind down the old one. Unless the boss has a conflict of interest and is somehow beholden to the old deep state. Of course, Joe Biden's party is the party of the deep state. So why would he do that? Beats me, I just know he should, and he could. If Gorbachev could reboot the USSR from the top, Biden can reboot the US from the top. Much more easily than Trump. Joe Biden's party is the party of the deep state. But, having put him in the White House, they actually don't have any power over him. They can't even unelect him. What would they do, impeach him? Also, everyone who works in the government hates their job. Also, none of them are violent. No, not even in the military. But why? Look, the man is 81 years old. I bet he can't tell coffee from soy sauce. Why would he do anything? I firmly believe that it was actually Joe Biden, personally, who got the US out of Afghanistan. And he couldn't have done it without Donald Trump, why? Because it was the right thing? As a diehard Trump voter, would you really discount that? Perhaps, inside the career, the staff, the brand, the industry that is Joe Biden, is, a real human being. Perhaps as he enters his eighth decade, the artifice that has defined his life is stripped away, and he decides to just, do the right thing. Sure. He won't. Trump won't, either. It's bad to go off half-cocked. Before we can have change, we need to have continuity. What if Joe Biden is reading this now? They say he used to read a thousand pages a day, now it must be down to only a few hundred. But the greatness, surely, remains. BRB checking the subscriber list. Mr. President. There is a tide, they say, in human affairs, which taken at the flood.